So guys, we're here. We made it. We made it to the North Pole. All right. I think it looks ready. I'm excited. Santa's going to see what we've been working on. And uh, I think it works. It's got all its magic. I mean, do you, think, you guys think we we're, did a good job? We put a little extra magic in for Santa. That's right. And uh, we'll, we'll get to show him everything that we've been working on. And I think we're good. We did everything we could. It's, there's only one opinion left. That's it. That's it. And if he likes it, we're good to go, right? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, my elves, you made it to the North Pole. Why, it's, it's very nice to see it's you, nice to lads. see you too, Santa. Oh, oh, well, Santa. Well, you guys know me. I'm Santa, of course, but... What are your names? Santa, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. And I'm Dave. Dave, good day. And I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. Oh, my good three worker elves. I hired you from Wallingford, Connecticut to, yes. to design some wonderful new Christmas toys for Santa. That's right, Santa. And it seems that you have one here to show me. Why, why don't you tell it. me something about this? So, Santa, this is the magic mailbox called Santa's oh. Enchanted Mailbox. Whoa. You know, just like you wanted, you get all these letters all year round. Yes. But what's a better way to get them the fastest way to you than a magical portal where a child places a letter in and it comes right to your office? I was wondering where that stack of magical portal letters came from. And now I have my answer. And they come right from here. Chris, this is this is beautiful. What do you think? Fine work. It's really nicely done. We have some photos of you on the side. Oh. Some of the old stamps to bring oh. back some of the, uh, you know, the old magic of Christmas there. Me and my younger years. That's yes, right. Well, oh. I think you look fantastic still. Thank you very You're much. You're very welcome, Santa. I appreciate you. You're very welcome. And, you know, just to make it extra special, we put these envelopes with oh. this as well. They're pre-addressed, so oh, they come right beautiful. to you. And they, uh, you know, they're magical. Huh? Yeah. They instantly disappear, and they will arrive right there on your desk. I gave you access to elf magic? That's right. I am very proud of what you've done, boys. And, and Dave over here, he's, he's really handy. So Dave was the one who, who actually designed the size, and it's perfect, and it can fit right on a fire mantle. It looks perfect at, in someone's house during Christmas time. Dave, I am astounded. Usually, I had a great time doing it. I am very impressed. And the, some of these parts were expensive, and that's where Steve came in. <laughs> oh, Steve. Yeah, he's the only one who has some, you know, some money out of the three of us, so. Santa's enchanted wallet. <laughs> I see, I see. I really don't. We do not have an economy on the North Pole. No. Everything is just <laughs> reindeers and candy canes and, and, and free. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> you guys should live here if you, if you can. Well, you know, it was a long flight, but I think I'd like to stay. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful and thank here. you for inviting us to your uh, oh. your, your workshop here. It's You're beautiful. very welcome. Yeah, it's comfy. I can't believe we actually got to be here. Breathe it in. It smells like cinnamon, right, boys? And candy canes, <laughs> you know? It's very nice. Yes. <laughs> so would you like me to show you how it's you working? You could show me how it Absolutely. works right here? Absolutely. Oh. Now, yes. granted, we're not in your home office, so all the letters are going to go over there right now, but I can show you how they disappear. My receptionist will get them, yes. Great. So let me show you. So child places his uh, note to you oh. inside this envelope. Okay. Opens the door, places the letter inside, shuts the door, raises the flag, and you will hear the enchantment. Oh, that's lovely. After those chimes end, open the door, and look, Santa. Whoa magically disappears. That's on my desk now. So it's on your desk right, right now. So I can get to work on getting all those little boys and girls their gifts. Absolutely. You no longer have to wait three days or whatever. Actually, we're in the North Pole. Well, Probably a good two weeks before it makes its way up here. Right? North Pole standard is two and a half business days. But yes, it's still <laughs> a lot quicker with this magic enchanted mailbox. And even better, no postage necessary, Santa. The kids. Parents are going to love They're that. They're going to love that, right? Oh, boy, that's amazing. And let's say, for instance, there's multiple kids in the home. Yeah. Doesn't matter. They can all send separate letters to you. I'll show you another one right now. Ooh. Place another letter in. Shut the door. Raise the flag. There's the magical chime. I like this song. Here it that's comes. That's right. <laughs> oh, tell me that doesn't make you want to just... Dance around. Well, not only that makes me want to dance around, but the fact that that letter is gone again, oh. that makes me want to dance around as Unbelievable. well. Unbelievable. So we worked extra hard on this, and we were really nervous that you, you know, we weren't sure if you were going to like it, but what well, do you think, Santa? I know I have a very good poker face, yes. but 
I'm very impressed by this. This is a really fun invention. Thank you. I like this a lot. What else are you young boys working on? Well, that's the, that's the, that's up to you, Santa. We work for you now. So any ideas that you have, we mm. can help bring those ideas to life. Currently, we're coming up with some fun ways and different ways that you can talk to children, not just through this mailbox, but maybe even you can magically appear to them and talk to them when they have any questions for you. Like... Like through a mirror. A mirror would be a great idea. That's a fun idea. Dave, do you think you can do that? I think we can make a mirror. Steve? Then. Of course we can. Yes. I like that a lot. We'll try that out for you. And then we can also do a hot fudge jacuzzi. Oh, well, I would <laughs> love that, Santa. We're going to work on the mirror first, though, probably. <laughs> I think mirror, so. Mirror first. Probably I think so. the mirror. Yes. It's okay. I like that idea a lot. Absolutely. The kids can talk to me and I can say th things back to them. What kind of questions? Oh, that's kind of cute. What kind of questions would Santa ask well, a kid through a magical I mirror? I suppose if a young girl or boy was looking at me, they were to say, Hi, Santa. I'd want to know, have you been naughty or nice today? I of think course. that's a great question. And then if, <clears throat> if I needed a break or if I didn't have an answer for them, I could say, Excuse me. I need to go. The reindeer are hungry. I, oh, I think that's oh, great. And you know what else, Santa, is that when they have all these magical ways to communicate with you, they can choose. If they, if, if they don't feel like talking in the mirror that day, maybe they don't like the way they look and they're not all done up, they just want to write you a letter, well, then they have the mailbox to do that. That's very, very good point. Yes. Not everybody is always as camera ready as you and that's me. That's right. I knew I was going to see you today, so we had to, uh, you know, do ourselves up a little bit. Listen. It's not every day you get a free ticket to the North Pole, right? You are looking sharp. You took this long trip to the North Pole. I yeah. understand it's a hard business that you're in, building toys for Santa. But he still has jet lag. Look at him. Yeah, that's right. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy about the frequent flyer miles. That's right. How many toys do you think that you are going to come up with? Well, you know, this whole idea behind enchanted toys... I think the possibilities are endless. I do too. Yeah, as long as there are still children that want to talk to you and they can't wait for you to come on Christmas morning, mm. I think that with uh, today's technology, Santa, we can continue to create things to make your life easier. There's only more and more kids that you have to see in that one night. So we can only imagine that it gets difficult for you. So we will yeah. do everything on our end it's to rough. try to make your life better. It's a tough job. Yeah, I can imagine. You think traffic at 5 o'clock coming from New Haven is tough? <laughs> Try doing it all in one night. That's true. It's rough. Yes. So, you know, Santa, that's all we <sighs> want to do. We were nervous about coming here today because we just want to make oh. sure that you like what we've made for you here. We worked very, very hard on it. And of all the places you could have chosen to have someone work with you, we're really happy that you picked some people from Wallingford. We really appreciate that. I got to say, I'm very happy with my choice, too. Thank you, Santa. And now Thanks, you guys Santa. don't have to be nervous about talking to Santa. <laughs> if you want, you can just pick up your new enchanted mirror and ask me. That's true. Oh, Thank you. what a great idea. I appreciate that, Santa. Fantastic. Thank you. Very nice. So, I mean, if there's anything, you have any other ideas or questions for us, we'd be happy to answer them. Well, I... Putting Santa on the spot. <laughs> Santa's, Santa seems to have asked you a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Santa's very proud of the three of you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, aside from making the magic mirror... What do you want for Christmas this year? You know, Santa, I, uh, I want my three boys to be very happy with what, whatever they get on you Christmas. You have three young have boys. Three young boys. And they are so proud of oh. the fact that out of all the people Santa could have hired, they chose, they chose their dad. They should be you very chose proud. Their dad. Yeah, they are. They should Thank be you. proud to have a dad like you. What they about you? Be. I'll take a new motorcycle. That's <laughs> the guy I want to talk to. Oh, he knows what he wants. And how about you? Plenty of food on the table. Food's always good in Love Santa's food. house. Milk and cookies. Oh, it's, it's, you know, milk and cookies in moderation. Yes. We can't always have milk and cookies at every meal, but we really want to. Yes. I do. Oh. Santa is just plumb out of questions. <laughs> Santa must... Go check on the reindeer, and I think I'm a little tired, so I'm going to go take a little nap. Okay. But I want you guys to know how much I appreciate all the work you're doing. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, right, Santa. Thank you. Thanks Good for luck. Talking to thank you, Santa. We appreciate it. I'll see you boys soon. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Merry Good, night. Good night, Santa. Oh. That was awesome. <laughs> Can't believe that he likes it. It looks like this is a go. We we're good. Work we're good. For Santa. We work for Santa Claus. We now. work for Santa. All right. So next up, the mirror. You guys excited? Yeah. I'm excited. Let's make it happen. Absolutely. Great. Skype to Santa. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Have you 